Let's talk about pricing and I want to debunk the three most common pricing myths that most floral designers believe. Now here's the thing, I am not shy when it comes to talking about my struggles with pricing and I am a formally certified, went to flower school kind of designer and I was taught how to price and then I went out into the big bad world and I was like, no, no, not even with knowing the pricing model. I had so many stories flying around in my head around why I couldn't charge as much as the math showed me that I could be charging. And I've really started to deconstruct and the more work we do inside of the Flower Boss Bootcamp and the more of you guys we start to work with, the more I start to understand like I am not alone in the stories that we like to tell ourselves about pricing. Now here's the thing, you might be a totally brand new designer, you have no intention of going to formal qualification and you're convinced that you're the only one who thinks that they can't charge the price. Or you might be like a seasoned veteran, like maybe you're a formally qualified, totally trained, you have a shop front and you've been a designer for 25 years and you still don't think that you could charge full price. You might even talk to like your flower friends and they're like, oh no, I definitely don't charge that much, which just like reinforces your belief that you can't charge full price. And for me, it was because I went to every single one of these workshops. Nobody talked about how to actually go through the sales process. Nobody talked about how to actually quote these designs. Nobody would even talk about best guess, this is how much I would quote a client if we were gonna create one of these amazing 40, 50, $60,000 hoopas. Like nobody talked about it. And because of that secrecy, for me, it compounded my belief that there's no way that I could charge that much. And because I was in a small town and I was new and I had a foreign accent and I hadn't even finished my certification and I didn't have enough Instagram followers and I basically was just riddled with self-doubt and I kept finding evidence to support the fact that I wasn't good enough, that. I wanna just unwind some of that and I wanna give you some of my best tips in terms of really understanding how you can go about pricing your design and really debunk the three most common myths that I see floral designers telling themselves. Myth number one, I am new and I can't charge full price. I thought this one for years. And I'm the one who went to formal floristry school. Like that was the number one reason I was convinced, even though I was taught the equation, Kathleen can't charge full price. And the kind of teachable moment that really shifted everything for me was imagine a lawyer coming to you and saying, yeah, no, I study contract law. I'll give you a 30% discount because I'm new. It's actually one of the things that's going to erode your professionalism so quickly. We're less likely to go sign up to the lawyer who charges a discount and advertises they're new, so I'm gonna give it to you cheap. It's like, yeesh. Not quite a great strategy to follow if you're a professional. Same thing applies in floristry. Or another example that I love to use is like if you could imagine that maybe like the Toyota car production warehouse, right? And there's all the machines and then the people kind of supervising the whole system to help get the cars built. And there's a new guy who started on the production line and Toyota's like, well, I guess we'll offer a 30% discount on this car because a new guy is here. And it's like, no. And these two experiences were what really got me recognizing that us telling ourselves I can't charge full price because I'm new is a total lie. But really understanding it has everything to do with your mindset and everything to do with how you're choosing to look at the price. And one of the beliefs that I continue to build for myself that I just wanna pass along to you guys is that there is an industry standard approach to pricing. Whether it's wedding and event florals and there is one industry standard approach or if you're doing daily flower deliveries, there's a slightly different equation to follow, but it's an absolute gift because they have been tested with floral designers all around the world and with floral designers in big cities, small towns, floral designers who are part of all the accreditation, have all the credentials and have all the formal qualifications as well as floral designers who don't and floral designers who are totally self-taught. This is the beautiful thing about the industry standard approach to pricing is it takes all the guesswork out of all of the things. So just decide right now that being new, not having a qualification, not having credentials, not having years and heaps of experience, doesn't matter. The equation doesn't have 
a factorial of years of experience or qualifications in it. It's not like the square root of your credential equals magic pricing formula. No. And it has every single thing to do with being a human being and understanding how your brain works and really learning to shift the narrative, shift your mindset, shift your perspective. Myth number two, my competition isn't charging full price, therefore I can't charge full price. This was something that I held on to for a really, really long time. I would walk into the grocery store and I would look at just their like straight up bunches that they would sell for, you know, twice the wholesale price. And I'd be like, I just can't compete with that. And, or I would look at the other floral designers in my area and just look at some of their price lists, if you can find them. <laughs> and I'd be like, what? Like, how can she be selling her bridal bouquet for like $185? Your brain is going to go out there and very unconsciously and very consciously find evidence to support your belief systems so that you continue to prove them true. If we tell ourselves there's no way I can charge full price, your brain is gonna go out of its way to find evidence to support the fact that there's no way that you can charge full price. But if you go out of your way and start to tell yourself, I'm gonna find some examples of highly competitive industries and find examples of being able to go out and see how some of the successful businesses within these very specific industries are able to charge a premium. And then I am going to deconstruct their work and figure out how to make my business different from what my competition offers. And at the end of the day, competing on price is a race to the bottom. What are you gonna do? Like if your competition comes along and starts to offer continual discounts, are you gonna continue to lower your prices as well? <laughs> like that's why they call it a race to the bottom. Like nothing good comes from it. You get your pricing sorted now and your offering becomes so much better that you do continue to separate yourself from the competition in ways that they can't even compete with. And this idea of if you're just competing on price, Stop it. Because at the end of the day, the only businesses that can actually compete on price are businesses that have direct influence over their wholesale inputs, which means you need to be buying at such a level that you actually can tell your wholesale suppliers, this is how much we're going to pay you for this. <laughs> And in most cases, you need to be like the big box store or you need to sign like a 52 week commitment and you need to have a certain amount of volume and a certain amount of like revenue and sales and all of these things that most of us don't have. <laughs> For most of us, we walk into the wholesaler and they tell us how much they're going to charge. This is such an absolute gift because we can leave the price negotiations and the big kind of discounts to the bulk superstores and then we can get to work really understanding the power of our brand and really starting to understand how we can separate ourselves and offer a truly luxury premium offering. What I love doing is looking outside of our industry for very specific examples. And I've got two examples to share with you. The first one is, let's say you're in the market for a white t-shirt, pretty generic, right? Except our good friends over at Everlane are selling it for $72. Yes, we can buy a white t-shirt that kind of on the surface of it looks very similar for $12. We're not the only industry where we have people who are offering super cheap options and then people who are offering a much more premium, luxurious solution. But you can just see by the way that Everlane presents itself to the world, they're just learning to play a totally different game. The second example that I love thinking about is if you think about your favorite, like fancy restaurant in your area, how far away is McDonald's? Like they're not actually that far. It might be a couple minutes drive. It might be a 10 minute drive, but like customers always have a choice. There's gonna be clientele that wants to go to McDonald's and the clientele that wants to go out for a romantic dinner. Both options are viable and you get to decide which category you want to fit into. So if you are currently competing on price, I want you to just stop it, rip the bandaid off, get your pricing sorted and learn to play a smarter marketing game. Okay, and myth number three, I'm not good at math. I laugh because there was a time in my life where I was good at math and then I became a business owner and we now have calculators on our phone and I learned how to use a spreadsheet and I'm like, no, I'm really not good at math anymore. But you know what a blessing this is because you don't have to be good at math. If you like to tell yourself I'm a creative or I'm an artist, I am gonna give you some tough love here because you're allowed to decide that being a floral designer is a hobby and you do it from a place of generosity and love and you pay for the flowers and you have zero expectation that your customers pay you back or that you actually make any money or that you make a living from it. 
Nobody's here asking you to start a business, but more likely than not, you're watching this video because you're on a mission to build a profitable flower business. And that means understanding that you have a for profit business. And it's not to say I can't be an artist and I can't be a creative. I want you to think about like, yes, and I am an artist. I am a creative and I'm a business owner and you're the CEO of a for profit organization, which means that you are pricing with profitability in mind. And your goal at the end of the day is to truly turn your passion into profit and actually make more than just enough to pay your bills, more than just enough to cover your income. This is like a thriving, successful, profitable flower business. And it all comes back to the stories that you're telling yourself. And if you really like to stay stuck and you really like to be in the story of I'm not good at math, the math is hard. It might be that you're one of the floral designers that's like pricing is hard. Actually, it's not. And I know that that sounds like a little bit aggressive, but it's like, no, the formula is so straightforward. This is the math that we learn. I think it's grade three. We learn how to do these equations when we are seven, eight, maybe nine years old. Like your nephew can do this math for you. When you tell yourself pricing is hard, you're gonna perpetuate the idea that pricing is hard and you're gonna put it off and you're gonna keep undercharging and you're gonna keep coming home from all of these events and keep doing all this work and going like, I mean, if this is what it's gonna be like, I don't know if I wanna do this anymore. It's like the one thing that erodes away our passion. And one of the biggest reasons that you see so many florists running like face first into burnout is because they haven't got their pricing sorted. So I want you to just like rip off the bandaid embrace the discomfort and decide today is the last day that you're going to struggle with your pricing because it actually is incredibly straightforward. I've also heard business advisors telling floral designers that you need to sit down and figure out a pricing model that works for you. And I actually think that is a recipe for disaster, particularly in the first like two, three, four, five years of business. It is very overwhelming to have to sit down and figure out all of your operational costs and all of your inputs and all of your labor costs and all of your staffing costs because then all of a sudden you're like not going to do it i can guarantee you if somebody's going to tell you you need to figure out your own approach to pricing because there's lots of nuances to understand i agree there are lots of nuances to understand but if this is like your first five years of business, just decide that the industry standard approach to pricing is a great place to start. And then over time, you can start to tweak and change and adjust and start to play around with it a little bit. But I would say that's like pricing 2.0. Let's just get to the point where your pricing is at a standard that aligns with the rest of the industry, i.e. uses the industry standard approach to pricing. And then you can start to play around with it after the fact. But if you've ever been told by somebody, you need to sit down and figure out a specific pricing model that works in your area. Or you could just take the industry standard approach to pricing, get your pricing sorted in a couple of hours and call it a day and then really get into understanding branding and marketing. If it was me, I would totally take option number two because it took us a long time, years, my friends. So if you're in the first couple years of your business, just don't worry about it. Just make it easy for yourself because you already know as a business owner, there's so many things for us to be worried about. And one of the things that I absolutely love, if you are a floral designer who's like, but I'm a creative or I'm an artist, perfect. You've just been handed the gift of the industry standard approach to pricing. So you don't actually need to sit down and figure out your own approach to pricing. So please do your future self a favor and please get your pricing sorted right now. And I also want to remind you if you really struggle with pricing, if you're a new designer and you're like, can somebody walk me through the step-by-step -step approach, grab my online course, Pricing for Confidence, specifically for floral designers. I talk you through my exact approach to pricing and I break it down in three super easy steps. So if you're totally confused by pricing and you're like, I'm just not sure I'm even following the right formula. How do I even know what I'm doing? I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm totally pricing off an emotion. This course will provide you a very concrete system, a step-by-step -step solution to making it work. The way that I teach pricing makes it so much easier for everybody to understand. And it doesn't matter if you're based in the UK, maybe you're over in Europe, or if you're in the US or Canada or Mexico or Australia, New Zealand, 
Singapore, I've run out of countries that I can name off the top of my head. So this course is perfect if you're a brand new designer and you're like, Kathleen, just give me the process, give me the system. I want to make sure I'm setting myself up for success in the future. Or if you're a seasoned designer, if you've got a few kind of seasons under your belt, but you know for a fact, <laughs> like you know in your heart of hearts, you're not charging enough, sign up for this course because I talk you through exactly how to get your pricing sorted. And I will be the first to tell you to just rip off the band-aid because your future self will feel so grateful that you finally have a proven formula for profitability. And all you have to do, my friends, is visit fourflorist.com backslash pricing, grab my online course, and you get immediate access to the deep dive video tutorial, a 50 page workbook. I give you my list of top 50 stems and their wholesale prices. I talk you through so many different examples and everything is mapped out for you step by step. Sign up for the course get to work and you'll have your pricing sorted in less than 24 hours. How amazing is that? And remember, at the end of the day, you are not the only one who struggles with your pricing, but really having the tools, having the confidence, having the resources that you need to set yourself up for success is a game changer, my friends. And it's exactly what I wished I had had instead of spending like three years under charging. <laughs> But hey, now I have lots of stories that I get to share with you. So I hope that this training has been helpful. Have the most amazing week, my friends. Take care of yourself, get some sleep, drink some water, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.